Hi, welcome back. Today, we'll begin to learn some different strategies to help you with addition. So we'll get started right after I pour myself something to drink and I'll meet you at my desk. So the first strategy we're going to learn about to help us with addition is using the number line. It's so simple, but it is super helpful. So I set out my number cards from one to 10. You can do that too right now, or you can even draw it on your whiteboard. Either way, take a moment and set out a number line. Great, and you know what it's fun to have? is a little toy or a special counter to help you hop or move forward. This was a little toy I had when I was growing up and I still have it. So let's get started. I have Mr. Froggy here to help us and I am going to write an expression or an addition fact. Here it is. You don't have to write it, you can just watch this part. I don't know the answer, but let's say it together. Four plus one equals, I don't know, but let's use our number line to help us. So what we like to do is start with the bigger number. Which one's bigger, four or one? Four. I'm gonna put my froggy on four. You can put your counter and let's hop forward one. Four and one more. What number did I land on? Five, that's my answer. Four plus one equals five. I bet some of you already even knew that. That's awesome, let's try it again. Let me take this off, erase my board. Here's another one. Hmm, let's read this addition sentence together. Seven and two more makes how much? So what's our strategy? What do we do first? What number do we start with? The bigger number and that number was seven. So let's put our counter. I'm gonna say froggy cause that's what I have. Let's put our froggy on seven and let's hop forward two more. How do you know we're hopping forward and not backwards? The plus sign means to move forward or add more. So let's do that. Seven and let's hop two more. One, two. What did I land on? Nine. Seven and two make nine. Are you also starting to recognize these as number bonds? Seven and two make nine. Here we go. Let me erase my board. Let's do it again. Um, let's try. Oh, look at this one. Let's read it together. Four plus five equals, I don't know. Okay, let's go over our strategy. What number do we start with when we work with our number line? Yes, the bigger number. But look at my problem. Which number is bigger, the first one or the second one? The second one. But you know what? It doesn't matter because when we add, just like number bonds, we can go either order and still get the same answer or we can add either number first and still get the same answer. So let's start. What's my higher number? Five. So I'm gonna put my froggy on five. And how much do I count forward? Four. So let's hop forward or move forward four more spaces. Ready? One, two, three, four. What number did I land on? Nine. Oh goodness, four and five make nine. And what did we just do in our last problem? 
Yeah, seven and two make nine. Different ways to make the same number. I just love number bonds. Okay, we're not done. Let's do one more. Just like we practiced four plus five, let's see if we can figure out this one. Are you ready? Watch me. Hmm, let's read this together. Three plus seven equals what? I don't know yet, but I have my strategy to use. So let's use our strategy to solve our problem. Oh dear, we have the same problem like we just had last time. When we use our number line strategy, what number do we always start with? Yes, the bigger number. But what number is bigger here? The first one or the second one? Yes, the second one. The seven is bigger even though it comes after the three. But are we going to let that trick us? No, because remember, it doesn't matter what order we add in addition. We still get the same answer. So let's get started. Seven, we said, was our bigger number. So I'm going to put my froggy on seven. And how much more do we have to hop forward? Three. So let's hop forward. One, two, three. What did I land on? Yes, my answer, 10. Three plus seven make 10. How'd you do? Was that pretty fun? Was the number line helpful? You can always have a number line with you when you do your math problems. I think it's a great strategy. But let me clean up and I'm gonna show you a new game you can play. So before we go, I wanna show you a fun game you can play with your friend or your teacher. You will need to make a dice that says plus two, plus one, and plus three all over it. I like to use a colored pencil when I write on wood because then the marker doesn't seem to bleed. So give that a try. So let me show you how to play. You will get your dice you're, you have a marker and your partner has a marker and you put it at zero, roll your dice. Oh, mine was plus two. So I'm gonna move my marker two spaces, one, two. Now my partner goes, ooh, plus three. One, two, three. We are trying to get to 10 first, but there are some tricks that happen along the way. Plus two, one, two. Two plus two equals four. <gasps> plus one, three plus one equals four. We have a problem. If you and your partner both land on the same number at the same time, guess what? You have to go back to zero, both of you. So let's try it again. Plus one, plus two, one, two plus two, one plus two is three, plus uh, two plus one is three. Uh, do you see how it can take a lot longer than it seems to get to 10? But here's another trick. Let's pretend you are way at eight and one of you is at nine. And your goal, remember, is to get to 10. So I'm gonna roll for this one. Plus two. Guess what? Nine plus two, 10, 11. That's not 10. I have to go all the way back to zero. But if my partner rolled two, cause eight plus two, one, two is 10, she won. You have to get exactly 10 to win this game. This is a little trickier than it looks. You might be starting back at zero more than you think. Try it. I think you're gonna really like it. It is pretty fun. Bye, see you next time.